Welcome back to Beyond the Headlines. The San Francisco Ethnic Dance Festival is happening each of these next four weekends. It's at Zellerbach Hall in Berkeley next weekend, and then Yerba Buena Center for the Arts in San Francisco the remaining three weekends. Right now in the studio, we have Julie Moucher again with the Ethnic Dance Festival, and also Eric Solano. He is the artistic director of a dance company that I will ask him to pronounce. <laughs> Eric, thank you for being here. Tell me the name of your group because I want to say it right. My dance group's name is Paranal Dance Company. Paranal, Paranal Dance yes, Company. Par yes. Okay. What is it and where are you from? Uh, Parangal Dance Company, we're based here in San Francisco. Parangal, uh, we got that name so that way we can tribute, and means tribute to the Philippines. And what we do through dance, um, authentic costumes, and music, we try to give uh, tribute to our, um, to, to our country, the Philippines, and indigenous people through, um, through the dances that we do. To indigenous people, too. Yes. I see that you brought with you some, some items that are used in some ceremonies. Yes, this is actually, um, for us, this, um, this is a dance or performance, mm -hmm. but for the Subanen or of, um, of the Lapuya from they're from Sambanga, Lapuyan del Sur in Island of Mindanao. And this is called uh, Shield or Dlasag. Mm -hmm. And can we hold it up here? So sure. And this is called a uh, Shield or Dlasag mm -hmm. and these are um, coconut shells. Mm -hmm. And this is called Kumpas uh, made of um, from the family of the rattan leaves. And what for the piece that we're doing for the Ethnic Dance Festival is called Chilayan. Mm -hmm. And the volume will be um, showcasing how um, he heals the, the sick. And he uses this uh, kumpas, I mean, the leaves and the shield to ward off evil spirits. Oh, okay. We could use that every day, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that you actually go to the Philippines and pay your own way to keep studying about about indigenous cultures and dance there? Yes, um, I make an effort to go back every um, every two years so that way I can go back and learn more about my roots and the different cultures, especially in Binanao, this rich of um, indigenous um, people there that we can learn a lot from. Mm -hmm. And from, from that process, we learn the dances and then we go back, come back here, share it to the Parangal Dance Company, to the community, and then we provide uh, free workshops to the community, and then also reach out to middle school, high school, and then college like um, USF, um, USF Kasamahan, where they have um, their shows every year, and we, this is how we get to pass on what we know this to uh, so the exciting. younger generation. Now, now I'm looking, we're looking at some clips here we, that just ran, and so those were some of the samples that we could expect to see? Yes, and it's actually uh, from 2010 that we did. And this dance right here is uh, Sugud on Uno, which is a reshade of um, Ramon de Busan. And after this, is, after this dance is um, called Tarek, which is the one that we learned from the Philippines back in the research in 2009 uh, from a tribal leader of the Tagbanwa, Nariño Manyapao. Wow. And for, um, we're going to do another um, showcase of the Subanen at the Ethnic Dance Festival this year and showcasing uh, the, the culture and practices and traditions of the Subanen. Now, do you come up with the design of it, the costumes and the setting and the, the, the look of it? Uh, one way for us to give tribute back to the indigenous people that we um, borrow to uh, do the inspired dances from is to um, get the authentic costumes as much as possible. Because with the dance form that we do, we improvise uh, with what we learn. So um, just to give back and also respect as much as possible, we, so we try to get authentic costumes directly from the indigenous group that we have learned the dances from. Boy, that must be something. And Julie, of course, you want another young, talented director. Yes. And, and we're, we're talking about not just preserving cultures yes right great hope and what's interesting is we invited one of the Philippine leaders like a few years back to come to the festival and he videotaped the performance and brought it back to his tribe in Mindanao and showed it to the youth who were wearing blue jeans and watching Arnold Schwarzenegger movies and all of a sudden they were like people in America care about this dance and now it's helping the tribes there re retain their cultures and the kids are more interested in learning the dances because they saw audiences here giving standing ovations. That must have been a very powerful moment for you to learn that. Yes, yes. Uh, and um, actually when um, I did actually learn half of the dances from 2010 from um, from the kids there, <laughs> and also from the tribal um, the, from the tribal leader um, Mr. Manyapa. And we're it. glad to share that here uh, through the Ethic Dance Festival. Uh, most of our work, uh, especially the rituals, we try to uh, audition it first or make it first for the Ethic Dance Festival, and um, we've been honored and privileged to have been part of it for the last three years. All right, Julie. Thank before you. we run out of time, you have about 30 seconds left. Participatory programs this year. Yes. 
audiences have asked for it. The move from Palace of Fine Arts after 25 years to Yerba Buena Center for the Arts allowed us to create programs where the audience is going to get out of their seats, join the artists inside the forum for the first time. There's lots of information on the website about the programs. I encourage families to come. It's going to be great for kids. We're going to do some tinickling with bamboo poles. <laughs> so, be fun. Uh, yes. All the right. world will come alive throughout San Francisco on our stage, and okay. I invite everyone to join us. Okay. Four weekends. All right. Don't miss it. It is awesome. Thank you both so much. Thank, Thank you for what you're for doing. And we are out of time. We could talk about this all day. It's just the greatest event ever. So special thanks to our guests for joining us today. And that is it for this edition of Beyond the Headlines. We have information about the San Francisco Ethnic Dance Festival, which will take place all around the Bay Area this year. And for our guests today, that information is available on our website at abc7news.com. Just click on the community page. If you're looking for community resources in your neighborhood, dial 211 for help. I'm Cheryl Jennings. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a great week. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.